Okay, this video is going to be a supplemental video on the blog post on the website on MOSFETs entitled Understanding MOSFETs, Key Concepts and Practical Examples. I'll leave a link down in the description below to that reading material if you're interested. What I have you zoomed in on here, uh, as you can see, it's a breadboard uh, with a circuit on it, and it's the same circuit setup that you can see here. And that circuit, like I said, is the exact same circuit uh, on the example switch application for this particular MOSFET that we did on that post. Again, I'll leave the link down in the description below. And it also has the schematic that you can find there as well. If I tilt this up, we can just briefly go over that setup here. I have a 9 volt battery supply here and its terminals go to the power rail here of the breadboard. We have the positive supply with the red wire and the negative supply with the black wire. If we follow down the positive supply, we reach this yellow jumper wire, which is in line with this yellow jumper wire, which is in line with the anode lead of the green LED. And then the cathode lead of the green LED goes to the drain of the MOSFET. If we look at the center lead of the MOSFET, that is the gate. And in line with the gate, if I tilt up here and try to move some of this stuff around so we can see better, we can see that there's this resistor here. Its lead is in line with the gate. And then we have this resistor here, which is in line with this green jumper wire, which goes to the negative supply uh, or the negative power supply. This is the 500 ohm resistor that we calculate in that example. This happens to be a 560 ohm resistor because I don't have a 500 ohm resistor. So I'm using a 560 ohm resistor for this setup here, just for demonstration purposes. But in the calculations we did, we calculated for a 500 ohm resistor, and that's for this one right here. This is resistor R2 in the schematic. Right here is this other resistor. This is considered resistor R1 in the schematic, and this is the 1K ohm resistor. And it's, again, both of these resistors are in line with the gate lead of the MOSFET. Looking back at the 1K ohm resistor, its other lead is in line with this push button switch. And the other lead of this push button switch is in line with this yellow jumper wire, which is in line with this yellow jumper wire, which is attached to the positive rail of the positive supply. Looking back towards the uh, source lead of the MOSFET, in line with that lead is this other resistor and this is the 200 ohm resistor and this is considered resistor r3 in the schematic and it's in line with this green jumper wire which goes to the negative supply so again this was for the switch application uh, example in the blog post and if I were to press the button here, we'll see that the green LED lights up. You can see it lit up right there. And this is all controlled thanks to this in-channel enhancement mode MOSFET. Again, enhancement mode means that it's normally off. So if I'm not pressing the button, the LED is off and nothing's happening. If I press the button, the LED comes on. All that's explained in that uh, blog post, again, that I mentioned that I'm going to leave that link down in the description below. But you can follow along on that uh, reading material and set up your own uh, circuit just like this one for the switch application using the 2N7000 MOSFET. Uh, before I let you go, I also wanted to go over like we did in that example where we used a multimeter to take a reading across 
resistor R1, the 1K ohm resistor, and we read a voltage of 6 volts. I just wanted to demonstrate that real quick. So I will zoom out. Again, if you haven't read that blog post, this might not make a lot of sense right now. So I encourage you to check out that link and uh, follow along with this example circuit and everything would become much clearer to you if you did that. So like I said, I'm just going to uh, do exactly like we did in that example circuit where we wanted to make a reading across that 1K ohm resistor, resistor R1 in the circuit. And in the example, in theory, we were to get six volts. Now I probably won't get the exact voltage reading here, but it should be fairly close. And I'm gonna use this as uh, a makeshift finger here because I don't wanna get my hand in the way. And I'm gonna press down, we see the LED light up, and we're getting a reading of about 5.2 something volts. Again, I'm not going to get an exact reading as we did in the example. The example gave a reading of 6 volts, but I just wanted to demonstrate that part of the example in the blog post uh, where we needed to figure out uh, the resistor value for uh, resistor R2, and that's this resistor here. And we calculated it to be 500 ohms. Again, excuse me, it's this other resistor over here. Uh, again, we calculated it to be 500 ohms, and I ended up having to use a 560 ohm resistor because I don't have a 500 ohm resistor. But I just wanted to show you that real quick and kind of go over the, the circuit here and share that with you. So I hope that you go check out the blog post. Understanding MOSFETs, Key Concepts, and Practical Examples. I'll leave all that information that you need for that down in the description below, and I'll leave you with another view of pressing the button and watching the LED come on. Isn't that neat?